a lot of fun myself today. Matches have been been really good, so it's been awesome. And I can't thank you all enough. I did forget to mention uh, we started with a pot of fifty dollars or fifty USD for this tournament. We're now up to two hundred and ninety US dollars just by donations from a bunch of people in the community and people outside the community. I'll be announcing all those donators and what they donated uh, at the very end of the tournament after Grand Finals happen, and Grand Finals will be best two out of three. So that is going to be awesome. Thank you all so much for supporting this event. Uh, I honestly am blown away by not only how well it's going, but also how much everybody's been into it and how much everybody's been excited for it. So it's been, it's been, it's been humbling, honestly. It's been very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> Where is Loner? You're fine, Zet. You're fine, Zet. Oh. All right. Loner is taking the longest dump in the West right now. I swear. Who does everybody like in this matchup? I'm just gonna... I should just kick dead from the call. Okay, here's Loner. Alright. So, gentlemen, how are y'all feeling? Yeah. Wait, excited. Huh? Excited? Okay, alright. Feeling excited? Mm -hmm. I don't think that there's actually really a, a favorite person here, because you both have kind of traded places on the leaderboards for a little while, so... I don't really have anybody yeah. in particular that I think could pull this through. I think, I think this is... I think it's going to be a tight match. I think so, too. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm ready for another rough early game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm notoriously bad at that, so... You're fine. <laughs> Alright, well, gentlemen, as per usual, we are timing by in-game time. If you do get a game over, I don't really think that'll be an issue here. But in the event that it does, maybe one of you just scuffs super hard. In the event that you do get a game over, matches forfeit, or if you have to reload a save in order to finish your run, matches also forfeit. Um, okay. you're, you're free to do whatever IGT strats you want. Loner's like, yeah, I'm going to make note of that. I'm just going to forfeit now. Forget it, you know? <laughs> so, um... Saves us an hour. And yeah. Get the next match. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to count down oh, from right. three. <laughs> All right, so Zero Ducks versus Amon right now. Okay. So, I am going to count down from three. We're going to do three, two, one, Devil May Cry. And on Devil May Cry, we will be starting up the match. Let me get a refresh real quick here so that I am up to date with Zeta's um, is that a stream here? All right, gentlemen. Best of luck to you. May the odds mm -hmm. be ever be in your favor, and uh, uh -huh. make those devils cry. Three, two, one. Devil may cry. All right. So, this I think might be the match of the day for me. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be the one where their skill sets are probably closest together and where a lot of the tiny optimizations are going to come into play. Um, Zeta, again, top five runner now that Cosmic is out of the loop for that. Uh, and definitely an impressive player for being on PS4. And then Loner Hero, he is also an excellent runner and this is probably going to be a little bit of a tougher match in comparison to Amon. No offense to him, but he is a very new runner, whereas Zeta has been around for a while. Zeta's been around for years. Zeta had been around for years by the time that Loner and I showed up, and we've been around this game for, I want to say, about, uh, you know, just shy of a couple years at this point, so. Yeah, so this is like as close to old guard as you can get. And it's kind of just interesting to me that he runs on, on PS4. Like, you really wouldn't, don't see that in a lot of other games where a runner who's been doing the game for years runs on not inferior hardware but not like the, the optimal standard one absolutely yeah zeta is also pretty uh pretty famous for doing his own sort of strats and just sort of uh you know sacrificing a lot of the the special bonuses that we see in favor of going for some more on orthodox stuff to because he values consistency a lot and he said this before um that he really just prefers to be able to do more runs and just work on his general execution. So he has a lot of problems with uh, 
with the Phantom critical hit. So I'm really curious as to whether or not that's going to come back and bite him because his route doesn't actually use Air Hike at all. And he's sort of routed around Ooh. having uh, 2,000 extra orbs just from the special bonus on Mission 5. So he's not going to go for any of these critical hits on Phantom in Mission 3 and Mission 8, whereas Loner definitely is. Yeah, and another little thing to notice is I don't think Zeta actually got the plane cache. He he went over it, but I don't think it actually activated. So he has to be a little bit more careful in this mission to not lose that S rank. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah, pretty standard fight right now. Good movement from both players as well. You see the main thing is not getting those red marionettes, which it doesn't look like either of them did. Yeah, so good RNG for these guys so far. Good stuff. Very, very clean from Loner as well. Saw Loner moving around so that Dante could prioritize targets and switch guns faster. If you are too far away from a lot of targets, Dante will linger on wherever he's shooting even after a target is dead. And that will definitely cost you a couple of seconds each time. Loner really cleaning up this top fight here too. Jumping out of the way there, nice adaptation. Gonna grab both of these guys with a couple of high times. Ooh, that's gonna be very bad for Zeta. He is gonna take a hit there, so he, I don't think he's gonna be, yeah, he's not gonna be getting his S ring, so that's gonna kinda of throw him off a little bit. He's not gonna be able to get level two Singer. But overall, this is, that was a pretty clean mission one from both of them. Yeah, and Loner didn't actually get hit at all, so he came out with a really nice, only a two second difference there in terms of IGT, but Loner already has a very, very good lead here in terms of orbs. So, But I mean, you know, we saw it last time. Loner, you know, started out with probably the worst beginning that you could get in DMC, and he was still able to get a very good time. Um, I actually looked it up. He almost got into the top, would have gotten into the top 10, so to speak, with that time. So, yeah, definitely nice. can be like something that uh, Zeta could recover from, but I am I bet Loner is pretty glad that he didn't mess up the beginning twice in a row. Yeah, that would have been unfortunate. That definitely could have, he could definitely could have taken a hit on his morale there, especially against an opponent like Zeta. You don't want that to happen at all. All right, let's see if the Eagle Eye is also going to persist here. Zeta, fortunately for him, doesn't get any spawns in the uh, in that room there. All right, and we're going to be moving into the scissor fight. Scissor fights, yeah, uh... It's... Go ahead. I, I think, I, I, if you guys didn't know, I'm Waifu's video editor. I did a DMC video, and uh, I... This room is, like, not fun for me to watch casually, because I'm just expecting it to go wrong at any moment. <laughs> and, like, I'm the type of person where if I don't get a good start to my speed runs, I reset. And it's kind of the main reason I don't want to run this game, because I feel like I would have about... 500 attempts and maybe three completed runs because I know like if anything bad happened here uh, I definitely would stay away and it looks like it's kind of happened with Zeta yeah Took a little bit of damage so he's gonna lose his S rank as well meaning he's gonna be falling behind and not able to get the stinger until pretty far in so that's where we're gonna see the gap you know we were talking about earlier how there were a lot of big mistakes and big things that really kind of created those gaps that we saw from earlier players but here it's going to be the small ones you know getting hit twice and those even though it shows igt is not that big of a deal like it's definitely we're going to see the hurt for it in this mission right here yeah interesting to note that zeta actually has like a it's only a one second difference i think right now in terms of igt and in, in terms of loner's favor but loner uh having you know Spinger 2 right now you see him just really just mm. increasing that lead there you can actually see the difference between devil trigger run and stinger 2 here very very clearly and now that zeta has no devil trigger run he's going to have to do the jumps so he's going to hit yeah. this you know a couple seconds still, later very smart to activate the uh dt as a backup strat and we can see that he's pretty much in line with um, loner hero, so he's not even losing that much time, but unfortunately he isn't going to be able to use it here, so we'll see how much that slows him down by. You can tell, like, look how comfortable Zeta is right now with his camera positioning in this fight, just doing this as about as clean as you could get it, 
And, you know, that's really making up for the fact that he doesn't have as many orbs as he would necessarily desire. But here we go. Both of these guys are heading into the Phantom 1 fight. Let's see where this is going to go. Loner didn't have the best fight, but he also didn't have the worst one. He got a crit, but unfortunately, uh, he messed up just a little bit. But there we go. The sun and the crit is going to come through. And a second one for him. Can he go for the trifecta? He all, I believe he did. And that was almost a perfect Phantom fight for him. That was crazy. Oh, that was no. awesome. That's uh, really what he needed in this early game. Yeah, and Zeta, he's going to be pulling out the Devil Trigger and he's going to be using that to get him down. Didn't really get enough of a pattern to work with. Um, and again, you were talking about how he kind of makes up his own strats, so to speak. And you can kind of tell that is exactly what it is right here, you know. Uh, bringing out the Devil Trigger where the other runners were kind of doing the, you know, uh, hike up and slash down for the crit. And... Again, you know, ITT-wise, he's not really falling that far behind, even without Stinger level 2. But it looks like he isn't going to be able to get it just yet, but on mission 4 and 5, it's not that big of a deal. He just wants to get it by mission 6. Alright, looks like Loner's got some unfortunate cat on energy right now, but he's going to use the backup here. Really nice adaptation there by Loner to jump onto the spike when it was activated. So for those of you unaware, the spike actually creates a vulnerable spot in the cat. And you're able to just shoot it and kill it without actually popping its core. So really nice for Loner to get that precise jump onto the spike to salvage the fight even after the, uh, the bad RNG there. Yeah. And again, you can kind of see the small little changes in uh, <laughs> how these guys are doing it. And I'm not really sure what's going on with Loner. Here yeah, right I don't here. know what's going on here. Definitely lost some time there. Now they're kind of neck and neck again. That's not I, good. I don't know if he accidentally jumped or gonna, I, he might have gotten stuck, maybe. I don't know if there's a little spot right there where that can happen. But... It's RNG manipulation, man. You know, you know how we do. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's just uh, manipulating the values. He actually has a hex editor right next to him on his other <laughs> monitor showing like exactly the perfect rng patterns <laughs> silent hill 2 uh silent hill 2 strats oh god i mean on, like i definitely think that makes that game a better speed run but i just i would not like to do that where i had to keep on checking like over and over which Brilliant. pattern i got yeah, same here here we go both fights are going almost exactly the same and look at that we saw uh Amon he kind of messed up this fight earlier using the Holy Water a little too early, but Zeta like did it as about as perfect as you can get it. Yeah, let's see what Loner's going to do. Loner's going to go for the RNG here instead of going for the spike strat on this fight. Ooh, Zeta going for the same thing. Takes three stingers to kill him there. This could be bad for Zeta. Yeah, but it does seem like he got it a little bit lacking behind. But again, losing that um, that kind of stinger momentum is just... You can see that it's kind of messed up just a little bit. But it looks like he is able to get it, right? Yeah, he did get it. Looks like he's going to be able to pick up the special bonus. Loner with a nice homebreaker down there. Hitting the, the two scissors and stuff as well. We also got the underdog there, Red Pyramid, in the chat that took down Digital T uh, the end of that, during this weekend. Excited to see against him, him play against Mick when we schedule that match. Both runners uh, really keeping this neck and neck. This is probably the closest we've seen all tournament up to this point, I think. Maybe the only exception being Waifu versus yeah. Mick. I'm going to call it right now. I bet there is and there's not even going to be a minute of difference between these two guys and their times. I would definitely say that you're right there. I would there not go. be And you can see that even though um, Zeta lost both of the... He wasn't able to get Stinger for a long time. He's not really falling that far behind. I mean, he's only maybe 15 seconds behind... Uh, loner, which is really good for uh, a how good of a fight loner had on Phantom, and b um, how Zeta actually lost him. So it just shows his knowledge and you know the backups that he had. He was perfectly prepared for what to do if he lost those bonuses, and he was able to really get himself back into this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what we always like to see. Is you know, like I said before, I don't, I don't really want to see. Uh, I don't want to see some bus ass. I don't want to see landslides. I really like these close matches a, a whole lot. Let's see if uh, let's see if Mona gets clipped by a phantom here. Interesting to note, by the way, both runners got a. Yeah, he got clipped by Phantom. The commentator's curse. Both runners got a uh, an IGT of one minute and three seconds on mission six. That's really cool. That mission is so uh, so optimized. <coughs> Loner approaching this door at a really nice pace too. Both runners probably going to be within maybe thirty seconds of each other. Yeah, which for how much has it been going wrong for Zeta? Like that's pretty dang good. Loner hitting the door at 12.23. Let's see when, when, Zeta, uh, when Zeta hits it. The bug did not get the hug either on Loner. But he's no not bug hug. That's what we like to see. <laughs> he, uh, he won't be able to grab the S rank here since he did get hit by Phantom. So Zeta is only about 20 seconds behind too. He's hitting that door at about 12.42. Oh, and he does get a little hit right there, so no S rank for Zeta either. I guess it before a really, really hard mission to S rank can really help a lot in some of these runs that are behind, but it's you really gotta just pray. <clears throat> Let's see how Loner's Phantom 2 fight goes as well. Let's see if he's worked on this. This is definitely, I think, one of the hardest fights in the game. Nice. Okay. Good stuff, Loner. Very cool. Perfect Phantom 2 fight. Perfect nice. Phantom 2. And then now we can see Zeta, who's going to be going for a interesting strat. I actually haven't seen this before right now. He's not going to be doing the same thing that we've seen other runners that he's going to be focusing on using DT for these fights. I'm not sure that makes it a little bit more consistent or a little bit more safer, but you mentioned how that is a big feature of him is consistently getting through these runs, which is kind of interesting. You don't really see them too often with runners where they just go through the runs for fun without really trying to recruit their time. I mean, you know, like look at Resident Evil 2 remake runners. Most of those guys, their attempts to successful runs ratio is very low. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, because Zeta, Zeta originally came from actually Easy Auto, and uh, he based a lot of his strats around that difficulty, which is, Easy Auto is, a, at this point, kind of a significantly different run, uh, especially in early game, as opposed to normal. <coughs> um, and then when he started transferring over to normal, um, he brought a lot of those strats over and sort of just adapted them. So then, I guess we're going to see Loner go for early gauntlets here as well. He's had a really good early gauntlets last time, so... Yeah, especially with the, the side he favored to pick up the Devil Star as well. So we'll have to see if a lightning strikes twice here for him. <laughs> good stingering. He's able to get out of there, no problem. And here is where this talent comes in. Uh oh and, Oh, no, though. Misses the first jump. Can he recover with the second one? No, he cannot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is looking bad. Oh, three this is the three charm. times. No. no. Oh, this is going to be nice and for Zeta to pick up. Oh, oh the fourth time. Oh, oh this is an upset right now. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. And meanwhile, we have the no air hike from Zeta, and he's going to grab onto it. And now he can't mess up this part. This is actually the harder part, I think, but they both succeed. And look at this again. All of that time that Loner had been building up in the past 15 minutes is just Just gone. gone. Absolutely, yeah. Loner here learned from Red Pyramid's Book of Platforming. Damn. Like on one hand, I understand that DMC isn't the best game to platform <laughs> on, but on the other hand... On the other hand, it's a couple of jumps. <laughs> you didn't really want to invest in Van Bam. Like, maybe it was against Amon that would have been okay, but I don't think Zeta is going to let that fly. No, he's not. He's going to take hold of that. Oh, yeah. And some very good movement, some very good positioning to get this. He's not going to be going for the Holy Water backup, and neither is 
uh, Leona, which I think is a good idea. They probably just honestly don't have enough time to go for it without losing it. Uh oh, looks like Werner's gonna lose a couple of seconds here as well. Dante not doing him many favors here. He's gonna stinger down here. Interesting that neither of them went for the Devil Trigger run there. Very close uh, right now. Only a few seconds behind each other, RTA. Both of them are going to pick up the S rank, though, however. Lone are losing yeah. a, a lot of time there. Lone are losing a ton of time over Zeta. It was RNG manipulation. RNG manipulation. <laughs> no, it, it was light manipulation for here. He was <laughs> for a, a extra well. I mean, fair enough. Oh no, Loner activates the, uh, the fetish over there. Let's see how that affects him later on. There he goes. I'm not gonna get the jump through the transition. Zeta making quick work of the scissors, however. Gonna just be able to run through. Loner gets the nice grenade roll there. Very clean. There we go. Holy water activated. Only a couple of seconds behind each other. Very crisp. And you know what? I guarantee something's going to happen with Zeta where he's going to make a small little mistake like Loner Hero did, and boom, Loner Hero's going to be back in the lead, and then it's going to go vice versa until. Probably at the very end. I think once we get to the Mundus fight, that's really where the the winner is probably going to lock into the position. But either way, it, at this point, it's still anyone's game. Whereas in the other runs today, we kind of could get a good idea as to who would probably win. Here, it's a 50-50 coin toss. Definitely. There was, there was only a second of difference there as well on that mission. That's pretty crazy. Like Loner going for the slash cancels there. Same as Zeta. Ooh, man, they're on the same animation basically. Oh, this is crazy. Going into mission 11, just neck and neck. Such good play from both runners right now. I think it's very interesting how much um, DT Zeta actually uses in comparison to a lot of the other runners. Like he used it for the Phantom fights, he used it for some movement at the very early on to replace Stinger level 2, and so it kind of requires him to be a little bit more mindful of when he uses it and manage it a little bit better, and I think you can really see that he has done this strat a couple of times before. Absolutely, yeah. He, um, his strats are really, really interesting. Um, especially because, like we were talking about before, he really likes the consistency. He is going to lose a lot of time. He's going to lose some time here, though, because um, of no air hike. So, Loner uh, is going to pull ahead here a little bit because of having air hike. Oh, no, he's going to just fail the, uh, the jumps down there. I always just keep getting commentator's curse, man. Every time. Exact same IGT on mission 11. Is Loner going to go for Ifrit? He is going to go for the Ifrit strat. Okay. <clears throat> we like to see. It looks like Zeta is going to go for the three holy water strat. I definitely think that's what you want to do in a marathon setting like this. Yeah, but I mean, Loner's going to... Loner's got his ways. And he uh, he wants to stick to him, so more power to him. Oh well, he took the um, the other strat too, the gauntlet strat. Yeah. So if he if he get a repeat of that, he's gonna be golden. And I believe that a couple of uh, there's a couple of seconds to be saved with meteor as well. So maybe loner just wants to kind of do that because he knows he messed up quite a bit on. Uh... Oh, he forgot to buy uh forgot to buy actually a, a second holy water for this death scythe here that's oh unfortunate. no you're right yeah 
That's really unfortunate. I think maybe he just he mashed maybe a little bit too hard, didn't get the second one. That's going to cost him a lot of time. That might cost him a huge pullback lead. Yeah, we were talking about earlier, the little mistakes are where the things are going to change, and that's exactly what we're seeing right here. Because it looks like Zeta has already finished up his fight, and it doesn't even seem like Miller has even started this. There we go. So now what is he going to do? It's going to be a little bit more of a risky battle for him. He's going to position himself into a good spot, activates the gauntlets, and he just needs to get the same fight that he got against Eamon. Holy water is being brought out. Is he going to be able to land it? Yep, he can. And does that finish them off? I mm, think it that does. Is, that's it. So a nice recovery from the sinks he made, but still, we're seeing a lot of time loss here as we head into mission 13. A couple of chokes by Loner, and that's really all it took. He was ahead by about 15 seconds or so. And uh, now he's really got a he's really got to fight tooth and nail. Bring it back. Zeta looking kind of comfy though at the moment. We'll see though, because Loner's menuing was also a little bit small, and and menus don't count for IGT in this game. The uh the between mission menus do not count for IGT. Missions in the in, or menus in the missions do count, but we'll see. So looking at this, Zeta is going to be going for the um, untouchable in the ship, so he's going to be grabbing that. Is Learn going to do the same, though? I, I don't really think he's going to. I know he, he typically doesn't, so I'd be interested to see if he goes for it now. He's not going to go for it. Nope. Smart little play. He definitely is starting to uh, fall behind a bit, and he probably doesn't want to do that against Zeta, who, again, is such a consistent player and really revolves the strats around it that it kind of makes it a very safe run for him. Like, he might not be able to PB every single time, but I guarantee, for the most part, he's going to be able to finish off these matches and be in a pretty, pretty good position for it. Good movement here as well by both runners in the spike hallway. Clean, clean, clean. We'll see if Zeta does the uh, the stinger through the door transition to avoid the RNG of the enemy spawns as well. Loner got a good vortex down the hallway as well. Yeah, there we go. So like I was talking about. The red scythe spawned in this room, and Zeta was still able to get the stinger off, despite Perfect. despite that spawn. Loner hoping to do the same thing right now. Gets a better spawn. Fortunately for him, he got the shadow cats. And then I think that Zeta might be buying a purple orb here as well going into mission 15. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to... Oh, Zeta's going to also fall behind there in terms of orb count because he missed out on 700 orbs. So let's see what he does here to kind of make up for some things. Still kind of anyone's game. He is going to be he is going to be grabbing that, hold, that backup holy water there. It's going to cost him a few seconds. Let's see what he decides in terms of... Uh, in terms of orb routing here. He's going to go for the backup holy water. I know he usually skips it in his room because he does the untouchable underwater. It's looking pretty good so far. Again, both of these guys have fantastic movement. And it looks like the untouchable strategy is going to be coming out for Zeta. And I think it's a good thing he's been doing very well with his orb usage outside of the first few missions. And we kind of saw the same thing with Aemon where they were able to recover afterwards. So he's not going to really have to worry about his rank for this and how it's going it to probably end up as a C ranking, but otherwise really strong movement coming out of that room. I think Loner may actually be forced to do, uh, to do the no holy water to skip the holy water room here otherwise he might be falling mm -hmm. behind too much on time unfortunate instance here in the spike hallway as well not what he wants right now not at all 
think he might just be heading on out. No, he is going to go for it. Okay. I guess he's hoping for that to carry him to the end game. A little bit of an execution error there, there. Grabbing the purple or blue work fragment. Getting kind of scuffed up by the, uh, the fetish here as well. Zeta going to lose a little bit of time, however, going for these guns. Loner heads into the Griffin 53 fight on mission 15. Both runners still kind of on the same mission for the majority of this run. Really good to see. Both of them came pretty prepared, I think. Loner just kind of relying on his fundamentals. And I know Zeta's been practicing a lot, so. Yeah, it's really nice to see how well these guys are doing. And they're really living up to their reputations. And, you know, sometimes games allow for that and sometimes don't. they don't. Um, ex execution heavy games, it's kind of up in the air as to whether how consistent you could get. But this is a tech heavy game, so it really just comes down to how skillful you are and how knowledgeable. And both of these guys have a lot of both of that things. But here we go. Loner is getting almost done with the Griffin fight. He's struggling a little bit, but otherwise it's looking relatively clean. He just has to get that last little bit of health down. Ooh, takes a little bit of damage. That's going to cost him a few seconds. And overall, not the best fight, not the worst. You can kind of tell that Boner, I, he, he's whipping a few of these things. Definitely could be doing better. I'm not sure if it's just doing two runs in a row or what's going on here. But you can tell that uh, he's struggling a little bit more than against Amon. So it might be just nerves, might be RNG, might be whatever the dozen factors you could bring up. Definitely forgetting to buy some holy water. So really needs to keep better track of his holy water count if he wants to pull this one out. And didn't you tell him to keep better track before the run? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. That sounds like something I'd do. So, good to know he listened. <laughs> and then Zeta going to move into about halfway through mission 16 as Loner just enters mission 16. Nightmare 1, really one of the first big choke points, I think, in this late game. And at this point, Zeta's alternative routing sort of tapers off. Loner forgot to buy again. Really going to cost himself a lot of time with these small mistakes. Really hoping he hasn't thrown the run because of all this, all these small things adding up. But you know that might be the break sometimes. Yeah, I mean, other than the beginning, I don't really see any mistakes that Zeta has actually made. Now we've seen a lot of these guys though; they've been struggling with um, Nightmare on all of the uh, different clients for him. So if Zeta misses something, then that might be where uh, Lord can play, like into this match. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. It's, Seems like this fight is going to go perfectly for Zeta, and he's going to finish things off with a nice little holy water to end things. And that is going to be a fight. Can't get much better than that. Waiting for the sound cue there for the devil trigger to fill back up. Got a vortex right across the bridge. Who needs platforming, dude? That is, it is not considered cheating, lethal placebo, to have a buy list open or written on a piece of paper. That is totally fine. Uh, we're not asking anybody to play from memory. A lot of these guys are pretty new. I think it would be a little bit unfair to require people to play totally from memory, and it's also impossible to enforce. So, what am I going to say? Have a display capture up of your and a, a, a screen cap of your desk too, so I know you're not you using. You need to have a 360 camera <laughs> view of your entire room to make sure that there aren't any scraps of paper. I'm going to call my FBI agent Ted. Have him look into everybody. <laughs> It's okay, he wrote them down in the back of his eyelashes, or the back of his <laughs> eyelids. Yeah, notes are, notes are just notes. They're not going to play the game for you, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Loner Hero uh, had a pretty good uh, Nightmare fight as well. Um, he's been really consistent with that. We've seen some people struggling earlier, so... Uh, it's definitely not the easiest fight to do well twice in a row, especially in kind of a high-pressure environment like this. But again, right now, the gap is slowly widening between them. 
IGT wise, they're probably only like 30 seconds uh, apart from each other, but you know, that that is a significant difference in a game like this where these guys are playing at the top of their level. Yeah, once you sort of get, once your PB is really at the uh, sub 40 pace, that's really when like you're expected to perform quite well and you know, playing up to par with everybody else uh, is quite a task. Especially getting out of that early game with uh, most optimal strats and everything. I think that, well, Zeta is going to lose a little bit of time here, I believe, uh, compared to Loner because he is going to have to do no air hike here. And he's going to, maybe he saw Emma or Amon's strat of wall hiking up to the Quicksilver for a fast Quicksilver grab. Otherwise, he might go with his usual strat of uh, vortexing over. I'll be interested to see if there's an adaptation by him there. Loner also making short work of Frost. Yeah, but looks like Zeta is going to go for the usual Vortex here. Going to cost him a few seconds, but nothing still too Still a pretty crazy. good one. Yes, still pretty good. Not going to cost too much time, but... And again, 30 minutes into the run, where we're well over halfway, and this is still anybody's game. I mean, right now Zeta does have a nice little lead, but again, that's just like one bad fight for him and one good fight for Loner, and they're... Uh, caught back up with each other, so. Also interested to see if Zeta, because I, here's the thing, okay, is that once we get to mission 21, Zeta, if he hopes to hang on to this lead, he is going to have to go for Cosmo Climb. Otherwise, Loner could just take it on safety with the air hike. Zeta is going to lose a little bit of time here compared to maybe Loner's fight with Nello, where he is going to have to do a couple slash cancels here. Got the good RNG. Very lucky for him. This is tense, man. I like don't want to say anything for commentator's curse because I've already like got loner twice. Yeah. Do we really want to jinx anybody else? Right, yeah. I'll just jinx Mick. I don't think Mick will mind. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's see how this goes for uh, Loner Hero right now. He's going to be coming up to the next boss fight. Not a super hard one, but anything can happen at this point. It's, it's Like Loner said, it's, it's DMC. It's DMC. It's anybody's game. Anything can happen. Real question, is Zeta going to go for the manipulation? Yes, he is. Turning it, I think, just enough to get them in front of him. Not too shabby. His position was a little bit off, but I think otherwise he's okay for this fight. Loner also going for the three Holy Water strat here on LO3. Really good safe strat. Really, really probably the fastest way to do it as well. How's everybody out there in chat land, by the way? Y'all liking this match? Because I am. I definitely am. It's looking very good. I'm really curious to see what Loner's time is going to end up being and how close it is to um, his run before. I want to see which one's better which one's worse. I'm going to guess his one against Ammon was... It's probably going to be the better one because it had a few less movement mistakes, but otherwise... There we go. Looks like there's not going to be much manipulation coming on his end, but still gets... Oh, man. Oh, no. So, so there's dude behind him, so that's going to cost him a few seconds. Not really in the best position to fight these guys. I think he's going to be able to get it done without much more issues than that. In the meantime, we're back on to the nightmare fight with Zeta, and again, it's going almost perfectly. He's going to finish things off with no issues at all. And that was it before you even knew it. What a, that's probably one of the most satisfying one cycles to do in the game, if not the most satisfying. Just taking that boss out completely in a matter of seconds. Looks like Loner opting to go for a safer thing here. Wasn't sure if he'd have enough time to fly to the top. So here we go. Nice. Very clean nice. jump there. Yeah, I saw Zeta struggle with that a little bit, so, you know, gaining a second or here or two there is going to be very important, but Zeta is looking really nice right now. He definitely looks like he's settled in 
pretty comfy. He knows that he's playing pretty well, so looking to looking to keep this lead going. Loner with the very nice optimization here on the nightmare fight. Really just punching the the, the core as soon as it spawns. Very good. And as Zeta goes into the nobody fight, Loner is looking to wrap up mission 18. Then we'll have to see what kind of line Zeta gets on that vortex. See if we got another heartbreaker on our hands, but I think he should be all right. I think Loner remembered to buy his holy waters this time on mission 19 as well. <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> oh man, you, you tried your best to uh, let him know. I tried, man. The kid you is. You did all you could. I did all I could, and the kid just just did More what he RNG wanted. More <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A little bit of an execution there on Loner's part, uh, deactivating the Devil Trigger a little bit early. Look at this, the red orb that could follow in Zeta. I'm wondering if Zeta's actually going to buy a per... No, he's not going to have enough for the... Uh, he's really running low on orbs right now. I think that those might be might be catching up to him, that orb deficit. He's only going to have enough for the... Uh, enough for the two Holy Waters coming into this fight. He's not going to be able to afford that purple orb. Yeah, so we'll have to see what he comes up with to get around that. Well, I mean, I guarantee he probably does have a backup. But the other question is, how much time is that back going to cost him, and how much harder is it to execute? Yeah, it's going to be tough for him because, realistically, coming into the Mundus fight, he's only going to have around 3,000, not 4,000 orbs. So he's definitely not going to be able to buy a purple orb and then some devil stars on top of that. So we're, it's going to be interesting to see if he opts for a slower purpose. All right, he might be forced into it. We'll see. Here we go. We were talking about. Zeta's earlier nightmares and they've all been so good and it looks like this one is going to be very different. Good positioning. Some decent RNG for him to work with, but overall I think that it's going to be very difficult for Loner to catch up because there aren't many more spawns where things can go wrong. I definitely think that his best option is to try and pull off the Cosmo jump. Yeah, that Cosmo climb is really going to be uh, such a big factor here, and I, I wonder if uh, I wonder if Zed is going to go for it, or and maybe he thinks he has to at this point, because you know these runners don't really have any idea uh, where they're at in the race. Uh, they're both in separate channels, you know, or whatever. They're channels separate from us, so they've got really no I mean, idea who's who, who's where. They could have the other person's stream open, but honestly, that is like such a bad idea. It's just going to distract you, and you know psych you out if they're uh, ahead of you yeah. when I doubt I mean either of them are doing that yeah I, I really think they just uh, they don't feel like occupying their own headspace with that so I don't actually know if anybody did that so far looks like loners also gonna go for the uh, for the nightmare three fight here gonna clean that up uh oh a little bit, a little bit of a, uh-oh, that's Taking unfortunate. A lot of damage right here. And now Nightmare's going to cling to the ceiling, going to have to dodge the Trish attacks as well. Use the Vital Star, Loner. Use your Vital Star, sir. This is not looking good. He's really taking a big risk here. Pulling out the Holy Water. That should be enough to finish up the fight, but ooh. Oof, that was a... Uh, that was unfortunate. Of moments, but that was probably the worst one. Unfortunately, again, it's just a little bit more time loss. It's just slowly adding up, and you can really see how difficult of a game this is where just losing a little bit of time and look how far behind you are. Let's see if Zeta goes for the climb. Let me see it in chat. Climb, climb, climb. Ooh, he gets it. The Cosmo climb almost all the way to the top. Zeta really looking to secure that lead right now. He is feeling it. He is feeling it. Mm -hmm. And 
now he's pretty much just got the Mundus fight, and after that, he's going to be pretty clear towards the end. So it's not looking too good for the loner. He's going to have to really pull out some magic if he wants to uh, come out on top and not end up in the loser's bracket. This might be this might be game. Those mistakes really early on by Loner in, in mission nine, and then later on in mission fifteen, really costing him a lot. Uh, Zeta coming out with sort of these dark horse alternate strats, really valuing that consistency, uh, paying off for him, and just kind of keeping a cool head despite the uh, the bad early game as well. So even you know when the, the shoe was on the other foot, the Loner had to deal with this uh, you know just just an hour ago. Both runners showing that you know you can compete even with uh, even with those bad early games. I still feel like though Loner probably would have pulled this out even if he had gotten that early gauntlet's first uh, first try. Yeah. Let's see how this one just kind of goes. The untouchable getting activated right there, and I think that's gonna be. OMG room for this fight. A couple more swipes to finish them off. And it looks like Loner isn't going for the Cosmo climb, so it's even more time loss that he's going to have to deal with. But overall, a very good match so far. It's been very close between them. And you know, I think if he, if he got that air hike shot for Stry, and then he got... And then he did the Cosmo Clyde, this would be like pretty even yeah. at that point. This would be pretty so, much, yeah, it would probably be neck and neck. Yeah, so those two little differences, you can just see made all the change in the world. Zeta, I mean, GG to Zeta really came to play today. Absolutely on fire. Right here, Loner heading into the Mundus fight. Probably just Hideki can be his dream of a real shooting. <laughs> oh man, Hideki Kamiya. Why? <laughs> Why Kamiya? He is something. He likes those games, okay? <laughs> the shmups. <laughs> I've I've never personally enjoyed them. Um, the only one I've actually liked was um, one called Tyrion, and the only reason I liked it more than all these other cups is because you could take more than one hit of damage. <laughs> it is like the best mechanic that all these other cups don't have. I don't get it. And it's a mystery. Lost time, I think. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, if only we could skip the smups in near Automata, then it might be good. <laughs> But in the meantime, well, it looks like Loner is going to be able to finish the site. And look at that. That synced up Devil Star usage was great. That's amazing. <laughs> Vital Star is going to get brought out in order to finish off Mundus. That is going to be a fight. And we have Spaghetti Mungus for Zid. And it looks like it is all over. A very good bomb coming out from Zid. And it's definitely a good match as well. With uh, Loner, he's not too far behind. He did lose a little bit of time because of a couple of just small things. It wasn't really anything major. It was all those different little 5 or 10 second time losses that kind of just picked up at the very end there. Yeah, really, really nice match from both players. GG to Zeta. That looks like it's going to wrap it up for this match here. Zeta might PV RTA, yeah, as well. We'll see. And it, that is going to be time for Zeta. Woohoo! Good job on both of their ends. Nice. Let's see what he's got. Thirty-nine forty, a second off of wow. PB. That is such a good time for a marathon. Holy <laughs> I, crap! Yeah. A second off of PB. He was on that's, PB that's pace. Your PB, right? I, I mean, that's yeah. He's been he's beaten my PB. Yeah, <laughs> like actually, no, that's not better than my PB. I think. What's your, I Wait, think no. He, what did he? No, his his PB is a thirty-eight, a thirty-eight something. I forget. I'm just gonna look it up. Yeah, I forget what the fuck it is. 
I, I had the leaderboards open. I just yeah. Completely my my PB is a thirty nine twenty six. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck. Okay, Zeta. Yo, good job, dude. Good shit. Really good one. Yeah, he got a 39.20 this morning. Yep, that's what it was. That's 20 seconds off of his PB. I thought it was one second. One sec. 39.39 was his old PB. Yeah. Really strong consistency on his ends. And then let's see uh, what's going on on Loner's end here as well. Wow, Shino. Did Zeta make any mistakes after getting hit once early? Pretty much no. Went for the Cosmo yeah, time I mean, and everything. He got, that time. he got that time with not S ranking the first two missions. Yeah, that's crazy. That's really good. Yeah. I think the only thing he did that was kind of a, a bit of a misstep that I can think of is after the very first um, Neurosite. Uh, or, like, not Neuro. Uh, well, I don't remember what it was called. But it's the one with the dog where you had to kill it and, and let it explode as you go oh, yeah. up around after the boss fight. I don't remember this. I don't know this game. I'm sorry. Mission 5, yeah. But, so about yeah. three minutes difference. Yeah, that's a, that's a heartbreaker of a way to lose. But GG to both. GG yeah, to both. Definitely a good one, uh, attempt on both or both ends. A little under three minutes difference. All right, so looks like it is time for Loner versus Amon. And Loner's next match, whenever we schedule that, is actually going to be against Waifu. That'll be a fun one. That'll be a good one, yeah, for sure. That 39.40, by the way, is currently the best time that we've seen in the uh, in the tournament. And the previous best time was also set by Zeta, which was a 39.57. So, currently has the best two IGTs in the tournament uh, for both of his matches, so... Yeah. Really good and stuff. And that the first sub-40 that we've seen in no, this the, tournament? the second sub-40. Both of them set by him. So he got a 39.57 his first match, and then a 39.40 just now. Really nice. Really strong. Alrighty. So let me... Uh, where the heck are both of them? Uh, Zeta, if you want to come on back in here again. Loner. Good job to both of you. Awesome match. Mm -hmm. Hey. Except for the times where you whiffed like four or five early gauntlets loner, you know. It was a good match. Yeah, four or five early gauntlets loner. How'd it go? It was, he, did, he got a 42. So. Oh, yeah, nice. That's yeah, pretty good. About two minutes differential RTA, just under three minutes differential R IGT. So, really nice stuff. Good. That was that was already beginning of the end, you know. When I <laughs> fell out. And then you forgot to buy on mission fifteen, and then you forgot to buy on mission uh, twelve as well. Yeah, I was fucking too excited, honestly. <laughs> you were too excited yeah. about what? Yeah. I don't know. I was just having a really good time. Oh, okay, well that's that's the important part. Yeah, I mean, like after Phantom, I was feeling myself. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. The good old <laughs> choker hero strikes again. <laughs> No, dude, it's just so satisfying. I was like, my mission won to eight or something else, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would actually be curious to see what your pace on mission one through eight was with like uh, the top three runs. Probably was really good. Yeah, it was really good anyway. Yeah, well, I must but have been so far behind at that point. You were about, I think, twenty seconds behind um, yeah. by mission nine, and then loner whiffed like four or five early gauntlet attempts, and then you just pulled ahead oh, and just kept it that whole sad. time. Yeah, it was pretty sad, but, you know, that's his fault, <laughs> not yours. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, don't feel sad about it. It's, all, it's my own. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody gets the smoke. Ain't no, ain't no oh, friends out here. <laughs> yeah, all right, no, so, never... Zeta, you actually... Hold on, let me check the bracket here. Uh, you move into winner's finals with that victory. Fantastic. 
So Thanks. congrats to you. You will oh, be playing the you. winner. Yeah. You really strong showings, dude. Uh, two of the best IGTs that we've seen in this tournament, a 39.57 and then a 39.40. Yeah, I was, I was so worried at the beginning, but it went so badly wrong. <laughs> you just kept your cool, man. That's the important part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, never get flustered, definitely. Absolutely. Um, and you'll be playing, once we get this match scheduled, uh, you'll be playing the winner of Mick and Red Pyramid for winner's finals. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be that's gonna be something. It'll be interesting. Yeah, definitely, because like the, on the one hand, if Red Pyramid gets the upset on Mick, then it will be uh, you know the underdog coming into the winners' finals, and then if we get Mick versus you, yeah. it'll be uh, third and fifth place, uh, you know, you mm -hmm. know, duking it out. And you guys are only about uh, I think 15 seconds difference on the leaderboard, so that'll be that'll be anybody's game too as well. Could be good matches either way. Mm 